almost annual patio dinner at the customs house. If and, we get in time. And we have just we just completed the 70th Rolex in the Hobart Gun Race. So the first toast of the night is the Rolex in the Hobart Gun Race. Second toast. We're all here, we're all happy. We're back on the mainland and overseas with our friends and family. Who's been following us? Some of them haven't been sleeping very much. I don't know. And we have friends who've sailed with us before and won't sail in this time. And friends who've sailed the last voyage. So the second toast, absolute friends. Absolute friends. Now your motor goes the vintage of the wine. 1998. That was a terrible, tragic moment. Six men lost their lives doing what they loved. We just lost that strike. And it's a dangerous, difficult, and treacherous thing. We're all here safe. So, in the memory of the six men who lost their lives. This pavilion is just done at in the Hobart. And last year we came where? Yes! Where do we come? This year? Yes! <laughs> and we've been Ed and her two arch enemies, Luther and Hodgkinson, who in fact have been over the guys, and we've been quite well. And I think you've all been very proud of what we've achieved and how the result came out. So, we should be happy on it. We're happy on it! Bring it safely in one piece. Yep. Yeah, the boat's important, but even more important for people around us. I'm just sort of end but He's a puffed up. We have, we have time for that. He's a puffed um, up. He's a puffed up. <laughs> and the yeah. amount of grief he's causing yeah. me at the moment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's staying at my house. And I might say, why aren't you coming back? Yeah. I'm saying, sorry, darling, the flights are all booked. Yeah. He's going to fly it. No. But anyway, <laughs> So, just a quick word about the crew. I love you all. Jim, you've done it for the Cobra. Yeah. Well, Jim. Yes. And our two characters, the Rogers to replace a couple of forgettable people. Um, Kevin Ben, but thank you for coming on board, doing your first time on Happy Old, Liv and Ronnie. What characters? Happy Old, Liv. Thanks. Couldn't get any bigger characters. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a big character. Send the guy next to you. He's enormous. It's no bigger. It's no bigger. Now, Jules crossed Bass Grape with me a few years ago and handled herself brilliantly. And she said, Oh, have you got a lot to go south rather than north? So, Jules has done the third. Hold up, Jules up. I'm here for Happy Up. And Vicky's done the third, I think. I'm done the third. 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 Jules and Rick both think we're good, great, or bad. It creeps up on you, next thing you've done. Just top on the side. Yeah, we're 25. Just don't stop drinking. And then the older. The older, more experienced people. Make it, you keep retiring on me. If you keep coming back, you've done five on right? And I'll never forget what you said to me when you first came around and came around. It's not as good as the good as fast there, but fuck, I love it. I want to be <laughs> So Rob's there on five, and new tradition. Everybody who knows five, they don't have a bad one. You've got to have a You've got your work. You have a good explanation. Uh, you, get, you get a present. Big. No, I've already got one. I'm going to go From on. your oh, very you first... Champion Hobart, 2008. Oh, look at that! Five races. I kiss you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, you go. Wow.
Thanks, Phil. And to my excellent son. Oh, my that's my so my so yeah. I'm going to bang back home for you. <laughs> so, so, a toast to the outstanding crew of Babio. Yes, yes. Toast. Well done, all of you. Yeah. Very proud of you. Drop the toast to that now. Make it. Make it, that's all that's all. Okay. <laughs> that's can, I, can I talk? <laughs> 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 yes, 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 you can talk. Yes, like, can make talk. Can uh, make it talk. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> on behalf of the Papillon crew, I want to recognise one individual, Phil Malone. 25 Hobarts. I've done five. A few of us here done five. But to do 25, huge, huge achievement. <laughs> huge achievement. And having done five with Phil Maloney, can I say to do 25, it's even more remarkable that he's done 25. That's in a good way. So I want to toast Phil. Well done, 25 over. Phil! 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 I want to recognise the crew on this race. So, we had what was a very, very interesting 24 hours. Um, and in Storm Bay in particular, with some of the new crew members, that um, we had some interesting weather, some very, very tough weather both outside of Tasman and inside Tasman and credit to the crew in order for their ability to put gear down and put gear up again. That is a Herculean effort. And some new crew members, you know, we did that as well under pressure and duress. This isn't about racing and winning yachts. This is about saving the boat and more importantly, saving the people on it. Okay. And we did that at the right time, quick enough, at the right cause, very, very quickly. So I'd like to toast the crew of Happy On. You know, I am very, you know, I'm very humbled and privileged that Phil empowers me to be the deputy skipper sailing master on this. But I'm nothing without the crew behind me. And you delivered when it counted, so thank you very much to the crew. Every single one of you. To the crew. Standing crew. Standing crew. Now standing crew. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish if I may on, on, on something that was said to me earlier. We have to get another around. Then you have to add a two sentences because it He's running out of wine. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to finish shortly on something that was said to me earlier by um, a person at this table, and it's very apparent, and we should, we should, we should remember this, is why do, we, why do we sail, why do we get up on Boxing Day and do this? Well, sure, it's a great experience. It's, it's a phenomenal experience. You know, I said this last year, I'm extremely humbled to steer the boat on the stars and do all this. It is a fantastic experience to do this. And um, Phil has put that together for all of us, for all of us. And he does that, it doesn't just happen on the day, it is meticulous work in order to get us there. You know, and you know, over the last few weeks and months or whatever, all of us have put our part in, but Phil has done everything on a daily basis for months on end, and we don't appreciate that. I speak to Phil a couple of times a week, and I get his updates and his enthusiasm, etc. And it's dra it's it's got to be draining. It's it really has. But he does this year in year out, and he's done this for six seven years now to make sure we do this. This is a really, really good thing. 
we've all got families, we've all, you know, we're not young anymore. We, <laughs> except for... Except for Olivia. Olivia. <laughs> Olivia. Sorry, Olivia. 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 Yeah. Olivia. Yeah. But anyway. Well, he's he's running. Running. He's not 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 we're extremely respectable, if not competitive, and at times, always at times, we think, well, this and this, we could have won this, we could have won this boat, yeah, at times. That's how good the crew is and the boat. And the catalyst for that is not great sailors, it's Phil Maloney. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer that, it's about, the reason why I go sailing and build the crew and have the privilege of, of doing what I do here is about making friends, lifelong friends. You were, you were, you were, you, you sailed with Ian today. I met Ian Sailor 17 years ago and gradually, you know, we worked some decent stuff together and etc. He's here now. What's the catalyst in doing this as well? I now. I've not seen Mick for a couple of years. All of a sudden, we've done five Hobarts, four Hobarts together, etc. But the comment today is the catalyst around this and the friendship you make is extremely important. Yes. Rejoice this, and we need to get filled with that. So on that note, I'm going to end. Thank you, Phil. Well spoken, Rob. And Phil, you're fantastic. It's been such a First pleasure. Over. It's been such a pleasure <laughs> sailing with you, Phil. Yeah, I normally speak every year. There's some down there. Yeah. It's a pleasure to turn to Ross. Wonderful speech. Oh, fuck off. Second best business. Doing well. Doing well. That's brilliant. I hope Chris doesn't love you as much as I do. My wife doesn't love me in the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but thank you for the whole retirement thing because now Rick is on that train. Did you say it? Oh, <laughs> you, you put down that you're retired and Joanna said, thank God you're retiring and Rick said, can you please give me a lot to retire? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Joanna said, I've heard that one before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I'm retired I'm done. No, you're not going now. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. So, who's going next year? I'm retired. I'm retired. I'm retired. I'm retired. I'm retired. I think you're going to do this. No, you're not going to retire. Oh, my goodness. I'm retired. I'm retired. That's it. I don't want to do it. Okay. It's a little addictive, but here it is. A little? Better things to do more today. Like golf or long balls or something. Rob is actually instructed me to do some very, very awful things to him if he signs up for another home. Rob, you would go anyway. Punch go. No, John is fine about this. No, she's not. Joanne's one of my Facebook friends. Yeah, you just keep it on Facebook. That's, that's the rule. Yeah, everything. Facebook. The fact that Ian is in your house right now.